Hello everyone, my name is Bithy GB and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria modded playthrough. Thank you so much for the amount of support you showed in the previous episode my friends. It is very, very much appreciated. And in today's episode, while we are going to be, you know, having a lot of action going on in this world, it's also going to be a pretty darn relaxed episode. Now, do you want to know why that is? It's because we got this thing here. The mysterious drum summons the Tiki Totem. Now, to clarify what I'm doing, basically the two big daddy mods that I have inside of this mod pack are the Thorium mod and the Tremor mod remastered. Now, the thing is, I actually managed to miss out a bunch of the bosses from pre-hard mode. So as a result, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to start off today's episode by taking down the remaining pre-hard mode bosses from the Tremor and uh, Thorium mod. So we're starting off with the Mysterious Drum. So here we go. Let's see how it goes. 2,000 health. Okay. Well, this is going to take like all of about five seconds. And... Oh! Well, okay. That was uh, slightly different. All right. Okay. Shadow Flame Tiki Totem has been defeated. Cool. I mean, let's just take down another one. Why not, dudes? Let's do it. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's do this thing. Hey, buddy. Whoa. Okay. That's a forceful guy. Wait, what? Oh, what the heck, dude? <laughs> that's, that's pretty hilarious, actually. It sent me up so high in the air that I didn't manage to kill him. It despawned. Well, that's just a bunch of poop, isn't it, now? Huh. Well, that doesn't happen very often, huh? All right, I, can you, like, go? Like, seriously, go away and stuff? I don't like you. I don't think anybody likes you, to be honest. Just just go away, you weird herplings or derplings. <laughs> yeah, derpling, that seems a bit more... Uh, seems a bit more, you know illustrative of their, you know, their personality and stuff. Alright, let's get these fools rolling. There we go. Cryphobic, anger soul. Ooh, so many souls. Get wrecked, Sonny. Alright, so let's head down here really quick. Uh, toxic hilt. Uh, it's a material. Okay, cool. We have ourselves a pickaxe of bloom. It's a material. That's pretty interesting. Toxic blade is a material also. And we also have ourselves a trophy, which is pretty freaking sweet. So, that, ladies and gentlemen, is one out of, I do believe, three of the pre-hard mode bosses I wanted to take down in today's episode. So, really quick, I just want to go and see what I can make with these pre-hard mode stuffs, just so you guys can have a bit of a, a look around as well. So, here we go. Pickaxe of Bloom can be made into a sacrificial pickaxe or the Night Dusk. Both have 100% pickaxe power and both have fast speed. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Uh, toxic Hilt. Let's have a... Quick look, Toxic Claymore uh, requires the Toxic Blade. And uh, I could actually make that. Uh, where is it made? Anvil. <laughs> Pretty easy. I might as well go make it. I mean, there's no reason not to, I guess. So let's just head over this way really quick. And uh, let's make ourselves the Toxic Claymore. Let's see how it goes. Uh, oh, look at the gold stuffs. Gold Aegis. Ooh, cool. Okay, so Hurtful Toxic Claymore. Oh, it's just a, a fully auto-swing sword. Well, that's pretty cool. Huh, that would be very, very nice in pre-hard mode, huh? That's very cool. I'm very, very much a fan of that. So, uh, thank you very much, mods. That is really freaking sweet. Let's go and put you in there. <laughs> that trophy looks amazing, by the way. Huh. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, head down here really quick. Let's just go ahead and quick stack some stuff. Uh, tools chest, uh, tissue sample and whatnots. Cool. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to see if there's any strange alien tech. If we have some strange alien tech, we can make another boss summon. But I don't believe we have any. Unless we do. For some reason, I can remember getting one. I don't know. Huh. Okay, well, whatever the case may be. Oh, how did you get it? Strange alien tech. Do you know what? It's gonna be from the. It's gonna be from the meteor, isn't it? So maybe the strange alien tech is over here somewhere. Uh, strange alien tech. I know I've got strange alien tech. I know I've got some because I remember having some. I do. I remember having them. Hmm. Right. I'm gonna have a quick search around my world to see if I can't find it. Ah, so I've discovered something, ladies and gentlemen. The thing that I'm trying to create doesn't seem to exist. The thing I'm trying to make is called the Star Caller, and apparently it summons in a boss, but unfortunately, it does require meteorite bars, but when I put the meteorite bars in the crafting person, you know, the, the dude, you know, it doesn't come up with anything, which is kind of sucky. It doesn't come up with the Star Caller in here. So, 
I don't think we're going to be able to do that one. But moving on, we have ourselves these aquatic bars. And the reason why these aquatic bars are so cool is because we can go ahead and take down the queen jellyfish boss, which is pretty freaking sweet, if I do say so myself. So let's go ahead and chuck that in there. We have ourselves some sea scales. We need to head over to an ocean biome. And uh, yeah, from there on in, we should hopefully be able to grab ourselves a bunch of awesome stuff. So let's head into the ocean biome and we are after some coral and seashells. Let's get it. Ooh, check it out guys. We just got a gold crate from the meteorite. So let's go and uh, open that up. Uh, got some high end bait and some greater mana potions and some titanium bars. Pretty freaking sweet, dudes. So, the reason why we are here is for these little things, right? So, we need a bunch of starfish and coral and all that kind of stuff. The more we can get, the better. So, I'm just going to keep scouring my way down here and, uh, you know, hopefully grabbing myself a whole bunch of epic stuff. Okay, come on. The more we get, the better we're going to be. So, let's just keep ourselves going. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Come on. The more we get, we do still have time. We might be drowning, but we still got time. We might be drowning, but we still got time. Come on. Come on. Got some chests over here. Come on. Whoa. What the? What are you doing over here, man? What the heck? Well, that's kind of interesting. Anyway, whatever the case may be, we are back at base. Can we make these aquatic bars? How does one make... Ah, there we go. Aquatic bars. Fantastic. Okay, so we've got 11 of them. Right, now then, can we make stuff with them? We're looking for a summoner of some description. Although I can't actually remember how to make it. So, I think we may need to head over to the guide really quick. Just to have a bit of a refresher. Alright, buddy. So, aquatic bars can be made into... Here we go. Jellyfish Resonator. So, if we have ourselves a starfish and a seashell, which we do, we can make... A jellyfish resonator and we can in fact make two of them all right sweet so where are we making these things are we making them at the anvil at the soul forge is the, the the thing let's go really, really quick no son of a jellyfish there no son of a jellyfish there so i'm going to assume we have to go ahead and make them at the demon altar so let me go ahead and get these summoners created and i'll be back shortly aha all right let's get these suckers created Got two of them, so all we need to do now is head back over to the ocean, but what the damn hell? <laughs> I was blooming shooting fireballs at me. That's just rude, dude. Why would you even do that? But yeah, let's head back over to the ocean biome and let's get these little battles going, huh? Huh, well, it turns out we got Martians invading, my friends. That is something I genuinely was not expecting, but apparently it is something to, to expect because, you know, we've taken down Gollum. So, uh, yeah. I wonder if there's any new enemies in the Martian Madness event, actually. Oh, we seem to have escaped it. Huh, well, okay, cool. I'll take that. Nice one. All right, let's get back to the ocean biome and let's get this thing rolling. Here we go, my friends. Queen jellyfish. Here we go. Lightning rod flammable. The queen jellyfish has awoken. What the damn hell, man? Okay, lightning rod. I don't like the sound of that. I might get destroyed. Ooh, I might get destroyed in one freaking go, dudes. What the? Ooh. Okay, well, there appears to be some sort of diver guy inside that freaking... Oh, what the heck? It's like little mini jellyfish being shot out at me. Wow. This is kind of cool, actually. All right, come on, buddy. Gamma. Uh, okay. Uh, that was weird. I just got, like, sent up in the air. Don't particularly want that to be happening a whole bunch. This is kind of cool. I like this boss. I wish I took him down, like, earlier on in the series, man. All right. Oh, wh hey! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh, he was holding an NPC. Interesting. I can't say I was expecting that, but, uh, you know, no complaints and all that. Hey, buddies. Hi. Oh, good, good. Oh, hi, Hadel. Oh, God, no. No, I want to see what the weapon is. Come on. Please allow me to get this weapon. All right. I'm going to be very, very quick here. All right. All right. Quick stack. Oh, oh, well, get rid of it. Jelly Pond Wand. Oh, 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 good. I don't like this. There's a lot of guys here. Oh, my lord. These guys have a lot of damn health. Jeez. Okay, this is actually kind of crazy. There's like a mini guy there. That's hilarious, man. Why are you even trying, bro? Get out of here. Oh, man. I shouldn't even be here. Get out of here. I want to see what he sells. 
Well, I won't be able to, will I, huh? Alright, alright. Uh, 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 okay. Wow. Wow, they only do one damage to him? Really? That's actually kind of cool. Ow. Wow, that guy's, like, not taking any knockback at all. What the heck? Jeez. I'm not going to be able to see what he sells, huh? Well, that's great and everything. Hello. Frozen Martian Walker. Ow. Gee. Oh, God. oh I'm going to go home. Oh, God. Whoops. Well, I just got killed. That's great. Well, now we've got the Martian Madness event to contend with, my friends. This is going to be not so cool. But so far, there's nothing new. There doesn't appear to be anything new at all. Oh, no. The Blooming Sorcerer is here now. Oh, boy. This ain't going so hard. Oh, God. All my NPCs are going to die, actually. Uh, how are we going to do this, man? All right. I figured out a plan. Here we go. Here we go. I figured a plan out. All right, we just got to try and lure him way, way over this way. Come on. And then I should be able to get under here really quick. And, oh, and then we can, like, cheese this thing like a pro. All right, come on. Where is this guy? Is he even trying? Hey, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on, son. There we go. Oh, man. This is going to take freaking ages because I haven't got the weaponry to do this thing properly. Ugh. Alright guys, well, this really is going to take a hell of a long time, so I'm going to go ahead and just get on with it. Uh, well, it might help if I had my twin dudes on me, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm a bit stupid, apparently. 31 magic damage for the Jelly Pond Wand. Sends out a ball of aquatic energy that will summon a swarm of jellyfish to attack the impact area. Ooh! Oh, that's badass! That's cool, man! I wish I had that early in the series. Cool. Wait, what the heck is this guy? This isn't a Martian Saucer. Apparently it's a Martian Saucer, but that just clearly isn't a Martian Saucer. What the heck is that? That's hilarious. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's tiny. Oh my god, he's almost kind of cute. That's incredible. <laughs> Aha! The Martian Saucer has been defeated, but at the cost very almost of my own life. Uh, what's that? That's a Xeno Staff. Holy crap. That's a very, very, very good upgrade. Ah, uh, that's going to kill me. That's probably going to kill me. Oh, boy. Yeah, this isn't looking so hot right now, my friends. I ain't looking so good. If I could, like, get under here. Uh, no, I don't think that's going to happen, is it? Nah, uh No, oh, uh, yeah. Wait, a landmine? Wait, what? Ray Gunner? How did I get taken out by a landmine? Who was laying those things about? I don't even know, man. I just don't even know right now. Uh, let's just go and chuck a bunch of stuff away. All right. I might actually be able to pick this thing up. There we go. Xeno Staff has been obtained, which means, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a good weapon. 49 damage. Let's go. Yeah. How many of these guys have we got? Five? That's pretty awesome. Oh, I'm getting kind of destroyed, though. Hey, hey. Oh, my Xeno dudes are going to work right now, man. That's brilliant. All right, here we go. Let's just keep going. Oh, I just realized what happens. If I use this Banshee Howl Ring, the Martian Saucer turns into this tiny little thing. What the heck? <laughs> That's hilarious, man. Oh, man. Oh, wait. That guy dropped potion crystals? That's kind of badass, actually. Awesome. What? And I did it again. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Check it out. Check it out. Check out this UFO, man. <laughs> oh, he looks hilarious, man. I don't even know what the heck is happening, but apparently I've got, like, semi-invisible UFO Martian saucers floating around. I mean, I've got no issues with that. It looks kind of funny. <laughs> uh, okay. Bit of a strange problem. I can't actually take down the Martian saucer. It's literally just that. He doesn't appear to be going into a second stage like he should be. Ha! <laughs> that's, that's kind of funny, but also kind of bad. So I think what we may have to do is go away to the point where he'll despawn. And, uh, you know, maybe get him to respawn in. Come on. Despawn, buddy. Resp oh, well, despawn, should I say. Come on. If you despawn, I'm going to be very, very happy. Uh, is it a despawn? Oh, 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 I've just been confused. Wait, what the heck? Why am I being confused, man? That's just weird as heck. 
All right, well, it looks like the Martian Sorcerer has indeed despawned, so I think we're going to head back. Oh, no, all of my dudes are getting killed. Oh, that sucks, man. All right, so let's get back to uh, taking down peeps. Uh, guys? What the hell, man? That guy is massive! <laughs> what? Yo! <laughs> That's hilarious! Dude, that guy is massive! Yo! I don't even know what's going on right now, man. This is just way too wacky. Jeez. Oh, I can't get over that. That is hilariously big. Damn, son. Oh, my lord. Well, I'm going to look forward to getting rid of you, sonny. Come on. There we go. Oh, yeah. Get destroyed, son. Hey. Yeah. The Martians have been defeated. I think this guy's going to be my last kill. Well, apart from this guy over here. Hey, come on, man. Come on. Is it going to be a cosmic? It's going to be a cosmic car key. I was actually after that just now. Brilliant, man. So we now have ourselves a UFO and therefore infinite flight to our name. And boy, am I happy about that, my friends. So, yeah, nothing new in the Martian Manor's event, unfortunately. But we did still manage to get a bunch of absolutely epic stuff, which I've got to say, I'm very, very happy about. So let's go ahead and chuck them away. And let's see what else we got. Uh, just a bunch of money, I guess. Uh, right, let's go and open that up. Uh, Palladium Bar. Nice. Sweet. Looking good, if I do say so myself. All right, man. Let's uh, get down here really quick. Bada bing, bada boom. Everybody can go ahead and, you know, get destroyed. We've got a laser drill. Uh, ooh, yeah, Let, let's have the laser duel. It's nimble as well. Oh, it's not nimble. Oh, that one's nimble. Ah, okay. Well, I am going to go ahead and clear up my inventory, and we're going to head back to the ocean, and we're going to try that again. The, the, the jellyfish is in. So, yeah, let's do that. All right, guys, the blood moon is rising, and do you want to know what? That's a good thing, because I want to go ahead and farm out some really high-end dudes. Like, there's these high-end, like, warrior guys that drop something. I can't remember what it's called, but I need to try and farm them out, basically. So, uh, we're still going to go ahead and take down the jellyfish queen again, just so, you know, we can see what other drops there are, perhaps. And then after that, it'll be time to do a bunch of blood moon farming. So, yeah. Almost there, my friends. Huh. Just picked up a brain scrambler. Pretty awesome. Uh, so... Oh, what is this guy? A blood moon warrior. Awesome. Skull teeth. That's, that's what I am blooming farming out. There we go. Figured out on the finish. Awesome stuff. All right, my friends. Let's go ahead and get this thing rolling. Wait, can we not? What? You can't summon it during a blood moon? Ah, oh, man. Whoa, look at this guy. Big supreme possessed armor. You just got destroyed, son. Nice. All right. Well, let's go back and let's farm out the blood moon. Aha! A moon charm. Nice one. That's pretty awesome. Ah, uh, there we go, my friends. Daytime has just rolled around. And it looks like... Oh, we've got ourselves a fast clock, which is pretty awesome. Let's go and pick that up. And we will also go ahead and take the other moon charm. Awesome stuff. So, yeah. Pretty awesome stuff, my friends. Pretty happy with how that went. And, uh, and yeah, I think now really is the time to, to get the other Queen Jellyfish fight going. So, yeah, let's get this thing going. All right, guys, so check it out. We've got the school teeth, and this is the thing that I am looking at. The Blood Moon Potion requires a soul of light. Knight, the school teeth, and, of course, the bottle will give us a guaranteed Blood Moon. And the reason why I want a guaranteed Blood Moon is because that if we have the chef... During the Blood Moon, we can buy the Cursed Popcorn and we can have ourselves another pre hard mode, uh, I do believe, Tremor mod boss. So, yeah, I think the time has come. We're going to do some building actually, and then we'll go and take down the peeps. Aha! So, we're in the process of making ourselves a whopping seven new NPC houses, this should be pretty good to go in terms of getting us all the rest of the modded NPCs. Well, at least I certainly hope it is, because otherwise. You know, I'm going to have to do a lot more, huh? But, uh, yeah, we've got ourselves a bit of a sort of hotel kind of dealio going on here. Go with the obsidian brick walls along with the stone slab walls because I feel like they work pretty reasonably together, actually. It does look a bit on the dark side. <laughs> dark side Star Wars reference, lol. But, uh, yeah, I'm actually kind of liking it, my friends. I'm kind of liking it. So, all we need to do now is just get ourselves a, a wee bit of furniture. So, let's go up here. Let's get ourselves seven tables. There we go, and seven chairs. Let's make it eight, actually. 
Uh, uh, no, it will be seven. Okay, so the door's going to be there. So we're going to have ourselves a table there, chair there. We're going to hide over this side, do the same, but the opposite way around. So a little bit of that. And then, of course, let's just go ahead and start placing in the rest of this stuff. That is in the wrong place, and that is making me slightly mad. So let's go ahead and put this here. This up here, and then we're going to have ourselves a table just here because, oh, why not? Okay, and we've got meteors falling left, right, and center. So that's all good and dandy. All right, and then I do believe all we need is a couple torches in each one. And then these are all, well, and doors, obviously. We need doors. Don't forget the doors, Python. Don't be a complete uh, bumbling idiot and stuff. Yes, that. Right, okay, boof, and a little bit of the old lightage in here as well. There we go, and finally, we need some doors, so... Oh, the cook has arrived. Nice, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight doors will do the job nicely. So one there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and one over there, and over this way. We'll put one right there. Awesome, so we've got about three minutes of time for new NPCs to move in. We are looking, in particular... For the chef, or someone else, uh, do you know what? Do you know who else might be useful here? The desert traveler has just arrived. We're gonna, we're gonna move the steampunker down here. So, yeah, sweet. All right, let's see what other NPC spawn in. Aha! Check it out—a blood moon potion. We have ourselves one now, my friends. Looking pretty fancy. So, oh, what is this? A suicide potion. Forgotten your magic mirror. Use the last outway. <laughs> better not don't press. <laughs> better not press B if it's in your inventory. Well, uh, yeah, that would be rather unfortunate, would it not? Uh, and aside from that, we're pretty much good. Got about a minute left, so let's see what other NPC spawning, if any. Ah, the diver man has returned. We never managed to see what he saw previously because, well, it was a bit on the dead side. So, uh, yeah, where's he gone? Oh, really? He's up there. What the hell, man? All right, Mr. Diver Man. You need to live in here, okay? All right, there we go. 25 seconds, and then we can have ourselves a bit of a look-see to see what kind of stuff he sells, if anything cool, as in. So, yeah. But I'm pretty happy with how we've done, my friends. I really am happy. We've took down two more modded bosses, which is pretty freaking sweet. In the next episode, I wouldn't mind trying to attempt the Cog Lord, because uh, all you need in order to summon him is some, well, just stuff. So, here we go. I like how I just give the most accurate descriptions, just stuff. All right, what do you sell again? Uh, oh, uh, stuff that isn't actually that useful. You actually sell pretty useful stuff. So the cog is something that we're going to need eventually. Uh, steampunk wings? I don't know, man. I don't know if that would be a good idea to buy. Uh, flesh cloning vat, green solution. None of this I really need. Uh, and that is like that. So if I go ahead and use my blood moon potion, he should sell something else. Oh, check it out, guys. Coral aqua potion. Pretty cool. Jellyfish idol. Summons a jellyfish in a bubble to follow you around. Marine catcher. 32 percent fishing power. That's pretty cool. Massive crab claw. Equipable. Hitch a ride on a gigantic crab. Ooh, Diver Suit, Whirlpool Saber, ooh, Eel Rod, Marine Launcher, the Sea Mine, what? Wow, can damage up to four enemies before it will violently explode. Oh, so volatile it can hurt you as well. I don't think I want that. Uh, Chum and Little Torpedo. Huh, interesting. Right, let's give this thing a go. Is this actually going to work? I have no idea. Does this guy sell the cursed popcorn now? He doesn't. Wait, what? That didn't use the blood moon potion. That's pretty interesting, to say the very least. Oh my god, there's a gigantic guy right there, and I'm actually kind of scared for my life right now. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, where'd he get out? There we go. Oh god, freaking damn it. What is going on? Most of my dudes have just been killed in one go. Well, goddamn. Alright, guys, I think on that note, it is time to end the episode. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. If you did enjoy the episode, and of course you're excited for more episodes to come, do be sure to leave a like rating. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But thanks for watching, my friends. Your support, as always, has been much appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next episode.